Hello there everyone, Stormy Strike here, and in this video I'm going to be unboxing three Stablemate Club Stablemates from this year's Briar Stablemate Club. I meant to do the videos of these two Stablemates that I got a while ago now, and that just kind of never happened, so I'm just going to be doing them all in one video here. So let's get to unboxing. Here is this glossy little American Saddlebred guy. I believe he is like the fourth release. And then this one, I believe, was the third release. And I think he came out around the time of Briarfest. I'm really excited about him because he is kind of a new mold in a way, or a new mold on Stablemate scale. And then we have this last one, which is actually the Gambler's Choice Mule Stablemate that just came out. So I don't know which one I'll be getting in this one, so it'll be a surprise. Oh my gosh, I got the rainbow one! This guy is pretty darn amazing. He is a glossy rainbow pinto mule. So there are the three Stablemate Club Stablemates in their boxes. And then here are the other two releases. This was the first release, and then I believe this was the second release for the Briar Stablemate Club for this year. Now there is one more Stablemate left in the Stablemate Club for this year, and it is going to be on a new mold. But here you can see all of the other releases so far. Now I won't be unboxing this guy because I may end up having to sell him. I've spent a lot of money recently on Briars and I would like to try and get some of my funds back. But I'm not 100% sure yet so I'm just going to be keeping him in the box for now. But I'll try and zoom in on him a bit so you can see him up close. Get a look at this pretty glossy rainbow pinto mule. Now I'm going to unbox this guy, whose name I'm just not even going to try and pronounce. This guy is a very pretty glossy stable mate with really nice coloring and pinto patterns. I think he is really lovely. Get a closer look at him here. I love his little braids that are like a black and teal color. Pretty nicely detailed little guy and very, very glossy. I love how his tail is painted. Nice black and white tail. I really like how they did that. And there's the Briar stamp on the bottom and the year for which I believe this mold came out, which was 1975. Really nice, crisp masking on these markings. It's got little peach hooves. Just a very nice little model. I'm liking this guy a lot more than I thought I was going to. Next, let's unbox this little Gypsy Vanner! I am really loving this guy. Oh my goodness, he is very, very cute! And if you didn't already realize, this is a little mini version of the Briar Traditional Mold Brishen, which I don't have any of my models on the Brishen Mold currently out and easy to get to, so I can't really compare this guy right now to him. He is super cute. I like his coloring a lot. His dapples actually look a lot nicer than I expected. They don't look super fish scaly. They actually look really soft and really well detailed. The only thing on this guy that I'm not a super fan of is how this like mane and top part of his head looks. It almost looks like it's unfinished 
or something. It just feels like there needs to be a little more color here, or a little bit more detail or something. But otherwise, this guy is really stunning. Let's get even a closer look at him. So here is his little face, his little tiny eyes. He's got very soft gray shading on his face. You can see that tan on his mane, his floofy little legs. This guy is so adorable. I am absolutely in love with this mini mold Brishen. This is so incredibly cute. They got some nice shading done on his chest. And then look at these beautiful dapples. I love them. They are so gorgeous. These dapples are fantastic. They look really good on his other side here as well. I was worried he was going to have some box rubs because he was a little bit loose in his box. He wasn't quite tied down well enough. But it looks like the only rub he has is like a teeny tiny little rub on his hip there. Otherwise he looks pretty good and there's like a tiny flaw in his paint right there. But otherwise he's not bad at all. I was expecting a bunch of box rubs or something. But no, he looks really good can't get over these dapples. They're so beautiful. And his legs are a nice dark shaded brown and even his hooves have some brown paint on them. They aren't just painted black like the rest of his legs. It's a nice little touch that they actually give his hooves a little bit of color different from his feathers. It's a little hard to see but he does have the little Briar Reeves logo stamped on his belly. And I love his swooshy little tail. Super adorable. I hope Briar does more mini versions of their traditional models because this guy is incredibly cute. I would love to see more Stablemate versions of traditional models. So there is this year's 2018 Stablemate Club Stablemate so far. This guy is probably my second favorite so far. I really, really like him. This mold is just super cool and amazing how much it is like the original traditional Britian mold. So I'm just super duper excited about that. This, this is just an amazing little rendition of that mold. My first favorite in this series is actually probably still the first release, who I already did a review video on, which I will put a link to in the card in the upper right hand corner. This guy has really cool markings and coloring and mapping. So he's still probably my favorite of this set so far, but this Gypsy Vanner is definitely my second favorite. As I mentioned with this guy, I haven't decided yet if I will keep him or sell him or not, but he is really, really gorgeous. I absolutely love that Briar is doing some fun rainbow horses. Well, there are those little guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this unboxing video. Let me know in the comments what Briar traditional mold you would like to see as a stable mate. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have an awesome day and I will see you in the next video. Bye everyone!